Hello, people. I figured today I would take a little break away from playing Lost Ark to show something that I just found out that I thought would be really helpful information to pass on. So, first things first. In the store, as you may or may not know, you can go down here to Currency Exchange to swap out crystals for cash. You can go either direction. You can buy crystals with cash, or you can use the royal crystals to buy gold. They effectively get converted to crystals to buy the gold. So like here, if I wanted to buy, let's say for the current prices, I'd be paying 238 crystals, which will pay every time. And I'll get 224 gold, a little less than one gold a crystal. But this 238 crystals, this is equivalent to, if I go the other direction, the normal crystals. Because I'm effectively, I'm trading 100 of the purple crystals for the gold. And then part of it gets eaten up in transaction fees. Like that's why you, if you buy crystals, you only get 95. If you buy gold, it costs a little bit more than if you had the crystals, because it should be 235, but it costs a little more. Um, and that's that's great if you want gold or crystals or whatever. But what I'm actually going to show is a significantly better way that I found to turn crystals into gold. It's not always available, but it's definitely better than the other method. At least when it works, it's it's a way better turnaround, and we're going to use the auction house to do it. What I did, basically, is I've always been checking this store, this Mari's Secret Shop, and I always check all the items to see if they bind to you or not, because I know, like, there's some skins and stuff that don't. And the other day, I saw these chests, these Tier 2 gem chests. I, I bought it, so it sold out, but it wasn't a bind item. It was tradable. So what I did is, before I bought it, I went over here to the auction house, and I checked for the same thing. This is the same one, gem chest level 1 through 2. I checked that, searched up, and wow, they're going for more now. Uh, earlier, I saw the recent price when I sold them yesterday was 120, and the lowest price was like, like 90 or something. Um, but that's each. That means that with that pack of five, at this price, at 145, we'd be getting. Holy crap, why can I not do math? This is what calculators are for. Yeah, if we sold it at 145, uh, that'd be 725. 725 gold before fees. Um, what if I let's just do this as a stand-in? Uh, into the price is 145 and five of them. So we get the deposit back. The transaction fee would be 40. So we'd we end up with about 685 gold uh, for selling these chests. So 685 gold. That's that's a little high. We'll call it 600. Just you know, assume you're going to undercut the person to get the money quickly. So if you go back to the store, it's on this tab, you might notice that it's only 28 crystals for the chest. And that's that's five of them. That's five chests for 28 crystals, which, I, like we just did, ends up to around 600 gold. To compare that in the currency exchange, to get 600 gold, we'd have to, yeah, 600 gold, we'd have to buy this three times, which would be 300 purple crystals. And instead, we got the same amount of gold with 28 crystals. Now I'll admit this isn't a great method because obviously this isn't going to be in the store all the time. You're basically just watching the clock, but it is a massive cash infusion and you can get the, you could just get, like even if you're free to play, you can go to the currency exchange and just buy 95 crystals and that would get you this chest four times, three times. Math, three times, right? Was it 23 or 28? Man, I really can't remember this. I'm not used to these kinds of videos. 28, so it'd get you at three times. But either way, that's... So yeah, you spend 225 gold, you buy 95 crystals, and you can go buy the chest. I mean, you can do this right now if it's still in your... If it's still in the shop, which it might be, because I plan on uploading this right away. You can go... You can just go to your own shop, which I think the shop is the same for everyone. Click, make sure it's the second tab. The little uh, war-torn slash trade skill. Go back a few days or if you, it's just literally yesterday actually, and just buy the tier two chest. And then you just go here, either search it up or you can go to the gem chest and then sell it. Like see, like <laughs> in making this, the lowest price has gone from 145 to 190. So you can just undercut this guy and still you end up with making out like a bandit. I mean, I posted a bad time yesterday apparently. See here I left, whoa. I left it in here. Here's where I sold three of them. 
deposit, sell price 237. Buy sell price. That was three of the chests. I sold them for, I think I listed it for 70 each or something, like, or 80 each, 75 each, something like that. So the point is, I didn't get near that much money. I mean, I still got an amazing amount of money, though. It's 237, 158, like, boom. You know? That's 500 gold. Or 400 gold. Again, math. I don't math. <laughs> I don't do the math. Um, but either way, so far that's the only tradable item I've actually seen in Mari's secret shop, and it does prevent a pretty or present a pretty good opportunity to flip to make some decent cash. As far as other things in the you can do this with, uh, there's there's one suggestion that's a little old and not very effective anymore because the prices have changed, and that's um, you use the same you go to the secret shop and you buy these the life energy potions. They cost like it's they effectively come up to 20 crystals each but she sells them in different kind of bundles three five i think that's all i've seen is three and five or you can get the there's a weekly one too right yeah, there's a weekly one that comes with three of them that you can buy in the store every week um comes with this too but that's irrelevant and what you do is you use that to refill your energy and you just go sell trade skill components and that was really effective last week uh with the first week of the game people were Spending a crap ton of money on those. Now, now that's settled down significantly. I assume the influx of free-to-play players has lowered that value significantly. So just a little little hint. Some people seem to have figured it out, obviously, with the, the price was so low yesterday. But now the price is so high. Even if you're kind of late on this, you might still make quite a bit of money. And I assume, I mean, this thing rotates every, I don't know, I think it's eight hours. Uh, I still have a lot to learn about this kind of stuff. But just keep an eye on it. You know, you can go back in time to see the old ones. None of them on here had another one of those chests. Trust me, I checked because I could I could really use some gold. So yeah, it's a great way to get some easy cash. So yeah, that's it. Uh, go ahead, use this, make yourself some money. And I will see you all eventually.